Good morning. It's Monday, July 4th. And the 4th of July always reminds me of fireworks. And there will probably be a huge display somewhere. But I want to tell you about other fireworks. And I want to tell you about not-so-newt Gingrich and his plan, his plan to control gun violence. I'm sure all of you out there remember not so newt He at one time was the Speaker of the House and a high-ranking politician. And right now he's a, a contributor to Fox News. So Newt has a history of having some very bad ideas. And the one he has just put forth is probably one of the worst that he has ever imagined. This new idea of his is ridiculous, and on top of that, it's very, very expensive. Newt hasn't come up with any idea about controlling certain types of guns. He's come out in favor of buying even more guns and having teachers paid to strap those guns on. He wants teachers wandering the halls of schools with guns in a holster, like the old Wild West. Imagine the corridors of schools being a place to have a shootout, right? Does he think that a bad guy entering a school is going to be afraid of some teachers with a gun on their hip? I doubt it. You know, just imagine a teacher walking around the schools and firing her gun and then blowing smoke from the muzzles, right? And being able to twirl their trusty trusty pistols in the cast looms, right? Can you imagine that? Because I tell you, if you let some people, even teachers have a gun, it's going to go to their head. And then imagine if the teachers take practice, during lunch hour or something, and then they come back to the class and resume teaching. So it's madness that he wants all the guns, all, not all the teachers. He's not in favor of all the teachers having a gun in school. Just five or ten teachers in the school should have a gun. And he wants those teachers to be paid $500 or so a month if they're willing to carry a gun. So think about that. you got five or ten teachers in the school carrying guns. And that's another $2,500 to $5,000 a month you're paying in salaries. Now, that's not so bad. But imagine that now every school is liable to be like a high noon, you know? So suppose, suppose this thing went through and there are 130,000 schools in the country, maybe more than 130,000, and you're going to have between five and ten teachers. So let's assume the number's five. So that's like 650,000 teachers are going to have a gun in school, and they're not going to pay for the ammunition, and they're not going to pay for the guns. You are. The great American public is going to pay for this madness. Between 650,000 and 1,300,000 guns and all the ammunition. Don't forget the ammunition. And we're going to pay for that. Plus maybe the holsters and maybe some boots so they can walk around and maybe we'll pay for their jeans also, you know. And if some of them have an idea that it might really be dangerous, they might be insisting upon body armor. So could you imagine that we have teachers trying to teach young kids about human life and they're walking around with pistols and guns and maybe even cowboy hats? It's insane. And this is the same place that we're talking about not teaching kids about sexual orientations. But he imagines that we would implant in the minds of young children gun-toting teachers. How about that? Imagine that some teacher goes berserk during auditorium or something when the kids are not being quiet or something and shoots bullets into the ceiling to get them to shut up. Could you imagine that? Because you got a million three teachers with guns. One of them is liable to go berserk. And you know, if you're teaching a class of children who are unruly, and you have an unstable teacher in that class, you're probably putting those kids at risk 
while you're waiting for some villain to show up at the school. So not so new had this idea and has the audacity to tell people about it, to come out and say that this is a wonderful, wonderful idea. And where do you think Newt got this idea from? He didn't say, but I'm willing to bet that he got this idea from Wayne LaPierre, the guy who heads up the NRA, when he was the guy that said, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is to have a good guy with a gun. So are we going to have all these good guys added to the teaching population? And who is going to pick out the right teacher? You know, teachers are not necessarily well-balanced all the time. And does he think that the teachers are going to be better prepared than the police down in Uvalde, Texas, who were trained and were afraid to go into the school when the shooter showed up? Trained policemen, 19 of them sitting outside school waiting for the orders to go inside and nobody made a move, right? Nobody makes a move. So does he think that teachers are better equipped than police professionals to kill off some unbalanced person who has come into the school? And I'm not thinking that the person is mentally ill or anything like that. They're unbalanced because they want to kill not because they're mentally ill. So I don't think any amount of training of a normal person can replace the automatic reflux to go into the battle. And do you think that teachers are willing to work in a situation where they're just waiting to be killed? Or they're waiting to kill somebody? That is not a normal environment. That would not be a place where I would want my children or grandchildren or great-grandchildren to go to school in a building like that. So you want to trust teachers with guns and everything, but you don't want to trust them with teaching children about sexual orientations and human beings and what's right and how to grow up properly. So Newt's motto was probably, bring back the Wild West. And we'll have the stage coach deliver the kids to school every morning. So that's the kind of people we have running around this country, speaking out. Not so Newt Gingrich, a leader of men. And I leave you with that this morning. Have a great day. Bye.